What up, y'all? This is your boy, Sherry Speeds. Right now, I want to talk to you guys about Supergirl Season 4, Episode 20. Will the real Test Master please stand up? I like that old thing. Eminem, I like that right there. It's in tonight's episode, man, before I get anything started, you guys know the drill. Pound the like button, pound the subscribe button, and pound the like and subscribe buttons to my boys. Little Boy Gaming and Heems Gaming. They do games, they do live streaming. You might even catch your boy up and kick some ass alongside them. Okay. This episode of Supergirl tonight, man, was actually pretty cool. Um... Our girl Alex, you know, she finds out she can finally be a mother. We learn quickly that the mother actually changes her mind after seeing a priest. So it kind of bums, um, well, not kind of, it bums Alex completely out. Now, mind you, Alex got the news when she was on, while she was on the run with Kelly. Kelly then later on in the episode reveals to her about the loss that she suffered when she lost her girlfriend. Uh, ben Lockwood is completely unhinged um, after the loss of his wife, of course. And so he goes directly to the DEO. He tries to pretty much bogart his way in to try to get in his way. He then um, finds Colonel Haley's files and takes the serum that James actually took for him to survive. As well as um, finding aliens to torture because that's actually what Ben actually wants to do. He wants to torture the aliens and James and Dreamer. He wants to kill those guys. But Bernie convinces everyone else like not to do that. Don't follow his orders. Another thing as well is... um. Bernie actually takes James and I think Dreamer off to the Fortress of Solitude so then that way James can hone in his skills now that he has power so he can fly now, which I think is pretty damn dope. Another thing that happens is Lena and Carl go on a casino on a private jet to go investigate Lex even more. Uh, they find out that Lex is actually helping Gaffney invade the U.S. with the help of Red Daughter. Red Daughter is pretty much Carl's little um, Kryptonian weapon slash doppelganger. Um... So, I'm going to try to find a way to step out about that. Now, while they're in Lex's cell, they find, like, all pretty much Kara's secret identity because, remember, Red Daughter is supposed to act like Kara, and that's what she's been doing since um, the last crossover. And But as they find Eve, you know, there's several copies of Eve. I mean, Lena tried to interrogate her. That was a fake one. I mean, so as the fights ensue, you know, James, I mean, John is back in the mix. Uh, he's fighting, fighting uh, Ben Lockwood. Off and things of that nature. But then also in Casnia, you know, a self destruct bomb goes off. So, but luckily, Carl was able to get Lena to crawl through the air vent to escape. And Lena has no idea that Carl escaped. Now, mind you, before they were flying in Casnia, it was, um, their plane was struck by, the jet was struck by purple lightning. Obviously, it was intentional. Carl ends up saving the plane, the jet, obviously, but she pretends that she got, that uh, she passes out. Now, another thing I made, I noticed too was, um, was the fact that, you know, George was going through it, you know, because his mom just died. You know, Ben tries to console his son, but, you know, James, you know, George pretty much blames his father for his mother's death, and he says that he hates him. Um, another thing, too, is uh, Cara was going to actually, you know, reveal herself to Lena. She was going to tell him that, hey, I'm Supergirl, but she actually refrains from doing so after Lena said, look, I'm so grateful for Cara. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here in this situation, things like that. And so, well, I have a couple questions. Though. I wonder, one, you know, now that Ben Lockwood has been, has uh, injected himself with their hair now, her now, what's going to happen now? Is he going to be like super Asian Liberty? Like, is, how's that going to go? Another question is now that, uh, because we see Kara actually go to the president, as well, he actually essentially kidnaps her. So I wonder how she's going to get out of that. But this has been your voice over speaks. Peace and love.